I'm Sarah Jensen, editor of OEM Off Highway, and welcome to Design and Engineering Insights. Today, I'll be speaking with Paul Botero, CEO and president of InMotive, about the company's new two-speed transmission technology for electric vehicles. Uh, thank you, Paul, for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. Um, so could you start by providing an overview of the new in-gear two-speed transmission and sort of going into how it works and what benefits it offers? Sure. Uh, the in-gear is a very unique transmission, unlike any other design out there in the marketplace right now. It was uh, designed from the outset with electric motors in mind and is, uh, is quite a simple uh, design, not terribly complex, which leads to many of its key benefits. Uh, it provides very high efficiency. Uh, it is also a low cost design, thanks to the simplicity. And it provides smooth shifting because it has no clutches or any other power disconnect. Okay. So is that part of what um, makes the design sort of more simplified or can you maybe go into that um, aspect a little bit more? Sure, the design is a chain drive uh, without, again, without any clutches or uh, power disconnect. And uh, that provides for very high efficiency. Um, compared to other systems that have clutches and have meshing gears, we have lower losses. And uh, those lower losses uh, equate to uh, either longer range in electric vehicle or better beauty cycles and off-highway equipment uh, because you have uh, more battery life. So that is a key benefit. Um, in addition to that, the, the low cost, of course, is, is a good thing uh, across industries. And uh, the smoothness of shifting is important in electric vehicles. But there's another key benefit that's a, that accrues uh, to off-highway equipment. Uh, that we believe would, would be of great interest, and that is the continuous torque aspect. Uh, because we don't have any clutches, uh, our system provides continuous power even during shifting, continuous engagement of the wheels to the motor. And what this means is if you can imagine a, uh, a loaded truck going up a grade on a dirt or gravel road, uh, trying to shift gears, if there was a disconnect of power, that would not be a great thing. Uh, but with the in-gear transmission, we would allow uh, that vehicle to continue to go up the grade without any loss of power uh, and be able to provide more torque as required or more speed depending on what the situation calls for. Mm -hmm. Okay and so could you talk a little bit about how the design of this transmission um, is maybe particularly beneficial for electric vehicles or could it also work in traditionally powered vehicles or is it just specifically for electric vehicles? Uh, it could work in traditional vehicles, um, but it's been designed uh, from the ground up for electric applications. Um, and, and the reason why it's particularly well suited to electric applications in, in, in particular is because of three main advantages it brings. Uh, it's the high efficiency, it's the low cost of design, and the smoothness of shifting. And the reason why you don't see any uh, other multi-speed uh, transmissions in mass production at this point is because no other design checks all three of those boxes. Ours is the only one that can provide the, the highest efficiency, uh, the low cost and the smooth shifting. Um, other designs uh, tend to have a challenge with one or more of those key components. And in an electric vehicle, if you don't have all three, then it's, it's quite easy to revert to the current state of the art, which is a one speed system, which does the job just fine for the majority of electric vehicles. Mm. Okay. So um, since you've sort of touched on it a little bit, but maybe are you able to dive a little deeper into um, uh, what makes this technology different or unique compared to other electric uh, vehicle transmissions that are currently used in the market? Sure, the, the key difference between the in-gear and uh, other transmission designs is the uh, no-clutch chain drive system that we've deployed in the very unique in-gear uh, multi-speed transmission. It's actually called a morphine uh, pulley chain drive. Uh, and uh, our website, motive.com, has an excellent video that describes how it operates. Um, it's effectively unlike anything else that's ever been designed. We've segmented the pulley sets or, or gears and uh, ship them when they're not contacted with the chain. Uh, and using our patented geometry, uh, we're able to affect the gear shifts. And that is, again, uh, Quite, quite different, uh, it sounds complicated. It's actually quite simple in the video. Uh, I think describes it a lot better than my words could. Okay, great. So then um, are there specific types of applications for which the technology would be particularly suited? 
Um, I believe it's, um, you've mentioned it can be used in off-highway equipment, but are there on-highway as well, or are there specific types of equipment for which it would be best utilized in? Or mm -hmm. Yeah, so the market we're commercializing for at the moment is uh, on-highway applications, so passenger vehicles for the most part. Um, that said, we see uh, tremendous benefits in um, bus, truck, and uh, off-highway applications as well. Um, it's not currently an area where uh, we're working on, but one we are looking for partners for. So we'd be interested in uh, speaking to uh, people perhaps that uh, read, uh, read your, your website or, uh, or see this video, uh, because it's, it's an application area where, especially with the continuous torque benefit that we provide, uh, could be of real interest to uh, powertrain manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then um, how would you guys go about potentially working with an OEM to either integrate or put, would you have to customize the transmission for specific applications or maybe can you talk about that process a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're currently doing this with uh, automotive uh, OEMs. Um, it would work in a similar way, I believe, with off-highway. Uh, we would be looking uh, to speak to the, uh, the powertrain designers in an OEM or an insured one supplier to the OEM who understand the application, uh, and we would provide the technology expertise. And together, we could design a um, uh, prototype systems uh, with production intent that would uh, provide the benefits that I mentioned previously. Okay. And would there be much differentiation um, for the transmission design dependent upon the application in which it's going to be used? Or would, so say like that if it's used in an on-highway truck or bus application, would that be slightly, the design of it be slightly different from if it were used in an off-highway piece of equipment? Or would it be pretty similar? Or is yeah, that still up in the air? <laughs> it, yeah, there, there would be some design differences. Uh, we'd have to scale up the, the technology for uh, the larger applications. It's something we've uh, thought about considerably over the years, and it's certainly possible. Uh, we just haven't done it at, at this point in time. But scaling up the, the core components and the we believe that the ratios would be different, uh, possibly more gears as well. So these are um, uh, considerations that uh, we'd love to work with uh, powertrain uh, expert in off-highway applications to develop for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I guess just the last question I had is sort of maybe what are maybe the next steps for you guys in the technology or kind of how do you guys see electrification or technologies like this progressing going forward? Well, we definitely see two speeds as the future of EV uh, transmissions uh, for uh, both for passenger vehicles, but we believe for other types of vehicles as well. Um, it, it's simply the efficiency it brings to electric motors uh, is, uh, is quite apparent. Um, automotive OEMs have been asking us for this for years, quite happy that we're at a stage of development now where we can provide them work with solutions. So currently we're uh, working with uh, global OEMs to develop vehicles uh, for, for mass production. Uh, we expect to do more of that going forward. And uh, again, looking to diversify into uh, off-highway and other applications in the future. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today and provide some more insight into the technology. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me, Sarah.